What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. This is episode 2. We are in Alpha 15 Stable Branch. Uh, episode 2, one of many episodes on this Let's Play. We're not going to have to restart again, ho hopefully. <laughs> I kind of feel like I'm tempting fate, keep saying not have to restart, but we shouldn't have to. So, here we are in the house. I've spent the time here all night mining. Uh, I actually made a little mine. I made a campfire, put that down, made some... Made myself some goldenrod. I don't have anything to eat right now. Although I do have these uh, yucca fruit. And I'm going to use those. But we're going to use those where, when we're out and about. Um, I went ahead and cooked up some tallow. And made some torches. And we're going to drop some stuff off in here. And I'm going to show you what I've been up to in the mine. Uh, first of all, let's put these in there. Alright. So right here is my little hatch. I made. You remember that little area I made? Well, there's the mine. Uh, there's no light down there. There's not much to show you. I just went straight down. I didn't hit anything interesting. Nothing happened. So um, I just wanted to show you that. Today's priorities are to get clay, wood, stone, and look for a spot for a 7x7 starter tower. Um, clear out zombies and loot. That, those, are, those are our concerns for the day. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. We're going to need some chests. Probably... Three chests for drop-off chests. We uh, went ahead and made ourselves our plant fiber gear to get our quest going. And now we just have to craft a wooden bow. I need some more plant fibers. I've also been practicing my my weapon smithing and my tool smithing um, the entire night. And uh, let's drop off the stuff we're not going to need. We'll hold on to that for now. We'll get rid of this, this. Quickly, I don't like doing inventory management on camera, but that was pretty quick. So let's get going. Let's check out this town. We're gonna we're gonna be scouting mostly today. Um, I also uh, oh no, you saw that. I was gonna say, I also boarded this door up, but I did that on camera. All right, no, we did not loot this house yet. We'll get back and loot it. Don't worry about it. Right now, I want to scout. I want to scout this town. All right, so we're gonna scout up this way. All right, so the reason I like to build in towns, um, there's there's one really good reason to build in towns, and there's a, there's one really good reason not to build in towns. Actually, two good reasons not to build in towns. We'll go with the with the reasons not to build in towns. You don't want to build in towns because there's a lot of zombies in them, and it's kind of it's it makes it a little bit harder to build in the town when zombies are harassing you the entire time. Not really that big of a deal, to be perfectly honest. Um, the other reason you don't want to build in towns is because uh, loot is res is on respawn. And if you are around the loot, it's not going to respawn. Not really that big of a deal for me either, to be honest. I usually don't take advantage of the respawn, so it's kind of irrelevant. All right, so there's my bow. And there we go. Oh. Our first victim of the day. You guys want to see my uh, frames? I should probably put my frames up there for you. Why not? Okay. Right, we got some zombies in there. We'll leave them alone until they break out. And we're just going to look around here. This doesn't look like a great town so far. I'm not going to lie. Uh, which, you know, whatever. I mean, if I'm going to be building in it, it doesn't have to be a good town. It just has to be flat. <laughs> that That's the reason you build in towns, by the way. Um, with the new random random generation uh, in Alpha 15, it's it was, it was always hard to find flat areas to build on. Now it's really, like, basically impossible. You can't really... You can't really find flat areas to build on. So with that being said, I'm going to be looking for a flat area. So I'm going to be building in a town. All right. So we got a we got a specialty building over there. What do you think that is? Is that a... It's either a poppin' pills or... It's either a poppin' pills, a bookstore, or a... Um, ah, poppin' pills. Lame. I hate poppin' pills. We go Right there, we've got the... The hotel, that's a great place for leather. We've got all the leather we'll ever need in that hotel. So that's good. So, not looking good. One specialty store, pretty pretty much the second worst specialty, specialty store in the game. And I'm not seeing anything else of any interest. This town kind of blows for looting, which is a damn shame because, you know, I like to loot in the beginning part of the game. Should we kill these zombies? Yeah, we might as well. Ah, oh, forget it. There's too many. Screw them. Let's just keep looking around. Uh, I wonder if there's anything in this in this car lot, like inside. Kind of curious. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to kill some zombies. All right, let's do it. Let's get that archery skill going. Whoop! Down you go. And we will. You don't get. Some people are telling me you can get 
uh, you can get animal fat off these guys, off the zombies. That's not true. It wouldn't make sense to get animal fat off the zombies either. Like, how are you going to get animal fat off a zombie? Oh, you do! See, that's weird. I don't know how you get animal fat off a zombie. Right? Isn't that weird? It even says animal fat. Maybe it should say just fat. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they ate the animal. I don't know. I'm going to hope there's a uh, workbench in this place. Because there's there's usually workbenches in the... In the whatchamacallits. In the, the garages and stuff. Like the, the gas stations. But this isn't... I don't think this is really... A, this is like a used car lot. This is in a gas station. So... Uh, you never know. It might be in here. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Damn it. Pick up these barrels because you don't want the zombies blowing them up. Alright, that goes outside. We're getting a lot of zombies around this too. I think we're going to have to make a stand here, guys. Yeah, we're going to have to kill these because they're just going to keep following me. Let's bring him out here. Nice wide open space to fight him in. I'd like to s conserve my arrows, although I don't have a good melee weapon yet. I could I could scrap my iron that I that I mined. You could scrap your iron. The problem is when you scrap your iron by hand, you lose you lose some of it. I think 20% or more. I'm not really sure how much. But you lose some of it. And I'm not about losing any of my iron. Iron is too precious. So I'll use a crappier club for the beginning of the game. I hate trying to hit these freaking crackhead zombies. Oh, come on. They went right through them. Didn't it? Looked like it did. Oh, that got him. Okay. Be a little quiet when I'm fighting. There's really not much to say. Until I shoot someone and go, Oh! You know, but... Oh! See, like that. I gotta get Pummel Pete, by the way. Pummel Pete is a melee... Is a melee perk that makes you do extra damage. And it's really, really a good perk. We also gotta grab our food and cook it up at some point today. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hi, zombie spawn people. It's okay. It's going to be a lot of experience. Too slow. Zombies are tough, but they're slow. And they're only really tough because they gang up on you. Nope. I hate these crawlers. They're so hard to kill. You gotta, like, duck and shoot at them. It's something about their, their hitboxes. They're, they're hard to hit in the head. Unless you duck. Okay. Oh. Oh, you don't like that. Oh. Alright. Level f Oh, archery level four. I think I level two, right? Yep, there we go. Let's go ahead and eat some of this fruit. It'll give us some stamina back. There we go. Oh, how do you like that, right? I'm like a freaking ninja.
Oh, you don't like that, do you? Oh, no, you did not like that. Stamina's getting low. Go back to the bow. Hey, it rhymes, so don't forget it. Okay. These guys I just shoot in the chest. I can't be bothered trying to hit him in the head. Hello, ladies. Oh. You die now. I got a little bit for everybody. Okay. Not doing too good on the stamina. Athletics is going up, though. Oh, by the way, in between videos, I did take sexual Tyrannosaurus. Just so you guys know. I knew you were probably telling me that last video. There he goes. Okay, starting to clear him out. Ah, there she gets back up. You die now. So many levels. I think I'd use the bow doesn't take stamina. Let's not give the fun pimps any ideas, right? I don't like when they get up and swing like right away. Yep. There we go. Got a lot of looting to do now. Go ahead and uh, scrap this one, take our new club, and let's do some looting. Oh, nice. Did I put a point into quality, Joe? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I'm almost positive I put a point in quality, Joe. So I've got a point in quality, Joe, and I've got a point... You know what? I'm going to hold on to these for now because these things have... Oh, the insulation on those is less. Good. The insulation on those boots used to be really high, so you could never wear them. But uh, they lowered it. Intelligently, they lowered it. Alright, let's do some looting here. We should also take apart a lot of these zombies. I'll loot on camera, and then I'll take them apart off camera. You know what, let's use the hat. Uh, actually, we're a little, a little on the chilly side. Maybe I'll hold on to the hat. We'll put on this hat. Oh, that's negative five insulation as well? Oh, that's negative 10. All right, I'm gonna put on that hat because it looks cool. Scrap that. We gotta keep a lookout for a jacket. It feels like it's a little cold in this area. What's up, bud? Okay, there goes your head. TJ4, taking off heads with a wooden club. What up? Alright, I killed some out here, didn't I? I want to loot all of these zombies. I'm not going to look for them for too long, though. Yeah, I don't know where I killed them. Whatever, I really don't care that much. Let's get that deer. Okay. Level 11. Killing deer like a boss. Man, this town is such garbage. <laughs> I get, You know what You know what I gotta get? I need a mini bike. And we might have to leave this town for a while and go loot another town. I like the idea of living in a town that has no good stores in it, though. That's a really good... It's a really good town to live in. You know, so... I guess living here would be a good idea, but I don't know about... Uh, we're gonna have to loot another town, though, for sure. A mini bike book would be really, really nice. An early mini mini bike book. All right, let's finish looting up these zombies. Then we're gonna check out the car lot. Okay, I paused the video because I wasn't sure if uh, 
See, I, I don't always get... I wonder if I could get... I wonder if I get animal fat from them by using the axe because it takes a it takes a lot longer with the knife. Let me see. Yeah, I get it with the axe. Probably not as much, but you know, I really don't care. I don't want to be here all day looting zombie corpses. And we are full. Alright, let's hit the drop-off chest. Uh, yeah, I think this would be a good spot for a drop-off chest. Eh, it's not a great spot for a drop-off chest, but it's good enough. Alright, I will mark that in a minute. We still got some more corpses over here to loot. A lot of corpses. I sure make a lot of dead things dead, don't I? Alright, so I'm getting one bone and one animal fat per corpse. Let's see if we can get more than one animal fat if we use the, the shiv. All right, I wasn't paying attention, so. Yeah, that's only one animal fat, so. Yeah, we, we, we only got one animal fat. So we're only getting one no matter what. So don't bother with the shiv. Uh, one thing that I could do, though, go to recipes, I can make a better shiv. There we go. And these bones will be handy, because later on we could cook them down into glue, which we can then use to make duct tape, which is really important. And I believe you need the animal, or the, uh... I believe you need the rotten flesh for something. Isn't that like for, uh, what do you call it? Fertilizer, possibly? I think it's for fertilizer. Alright. Alright, that's enough. Let's go looting. Oh, one more. Okay, you guys stay here. It's good. Let's mark it. Save. DC for drop chest. Boom. All right, let's get in here. Eh, might as well loot the cars. I don't loot the cars because, like, it's very rare that there's anything good in them. But I noticed the loot on the cars have been getting a little better recently. And, um, plus, some people are telling me they're getting some really nice stuff from the cars. So, we'll see. I, I don't think I've ever gotten anything good from a car. Like, maybe, at least not since they changed it. You know, since they added the uh, loot timer. Because I used to loot cars all the time because they, they were quick. But now that they take so long and they they basically they basically uh, put the cars all over the game and like made it so you could take them apart. So when they made it so you could take them apart, they nerfed what you would get out of them, which you know makes sense. All right, a lot of houses here, but no no good stores. I'm gonna pray to the RNG gods that I get a mini bike for dumb shits book. Damn it. The, the, the seven days gods do not like me. I'll tell you that. Okay. Did I bring any torches with me? Yes, I did. Good. Take these apart. I don't know why it keeps going to uh, escape. I'm not hitting escape. It's kind of weird. need any more of those let's break in here all right i wanted to break this door down before i came back so i could like break these down all at the same time so you guys didn't have to sit through them all right nothing nothing really oh my goodness come on game do this so the zombies can't get up there in case they come in while i'm looting and let's check the roof Nothing on the roof. Yeah, this this like this town is just just terrible so far. But we haven't explored the whole thing yet, so let's let's see. Uh, is that everything for in here? I believe I don't I don't think I missed anything. I don't think there's anything out back either. Go check the back really quick, and then we'll uh, continue scouting the town. Uh, I was just getting excited. I saw another specialty building. And it's Shamway. Ugh. Oh, boy. All right, well, let's see what else this town has to offer. Oh, prison. That's pretty cool. I, 
I don't ever want to live in the prison though. Like I, I already lived in it. I mean, I didn't really build too much in it, but I did kind of live in it. So I don't really see much point living in the prison, to be honest. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. It's a cool building. Uh, I do have a build for it, but I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, we got a bar over there. There's li there's landmines in that bar, by the way. So you want to be kind of careful. One cool thing about the Shamway is it might have booze. So that would be nice. Ah, eh, Shaka Messiah. Mm. Yeah, I was really hoping for a bookstore. That's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. I could always go to the town in the southeast and look for a bookstore, but... Eh, I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to do that just now. I think I want to start building. I think I want to start building. I'm just going to keep... I'm just going to continue looking around here. Then I'm going to spend some time um, and get some clay. What is that on the surface? That looks like lead. Yeah, it's always lead on the surface. Okay. Yep. We've looked completely around. Alright, uh... Well... I think I'm gonna go home, drop off some... Well, actually, I don't think I have much to drop off at home. No, I really don't. Uh, let's... Actually, let's go back to where we came in. Let's go back to where we came in and get that food and bring it home. I think that's it. I think that's the best bet. Then we'll get some uh, we'll get some clay and some wood. You know what, guys? Let's farm some uh, stuff in the, this little part of the snow biome. Snow biome has the best items in the game. Hey, maybe if I can get some lumberjacks, you know. So yeah, let's kill some stuff over here, and then see if we can find some loot or possibly some lumberjacks. You're dead. Alright, any lumberjacks? I don't see any. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, we got a, a stump here. The stumps can have good stuff in them as well. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any lumberjacks. Yeah, that's a really small part of the snow biome, so... I'm not really surprised. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go home, drop this meat off, and then I'm going to look for a place for me to build my base. Uh, I really want to stay in the prison, but um, I don't know, guys. I think I stayed there too much, and I think people want to see me build a standalone base for the most part. Standalone bases seem to be where the uh, where the, where people like it the most. Like they, they, You know, you could always go into the prison and alter the prison to your whim, or you could build your own standalone base. And I think more people get excited about that standalone base. But, like I said, you guys let me know in the comments, and uh, I'm, not saying I'll do what, I'm not saying I'll do what you say, but I will think about it and uh, add it into the equation. I might actually build right here my, ulti my, my first base, although there's a big rock in the way. So maybe not. Alright, let me come out in here and drop off some stuff. And, uh... Definitely gotta get this food off us, at least. There we go. Okay, looking good. Let's get back out there. Alright, let's pick a spot for the base. Shall we? Um, this looks like a good... Ah, these big boulders get in the way. I mean, I could always break them down, but it would, t it would take time. And you don't even get a lot of stone out of them, really. What the hell is wrong with me? There we go. There's like three shots in a row there. Okay. This wouldn't be a bad spot for the base. We could always tear that rock out if we need to. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, you know what? Right here. You see that? You see these little black spots? Those are the rocks. So I think I might have just picked out a really good spot to build the base. Let's go take a look out of it. Let's go take a look at it before the end of the video. I 
I got a good feeling about this car. Yeah. Brass is pretty good. <laughs> Alright, what are we looking at here? Is this... Okay. I think I see where it is. This would be a good spot for the base as well. Uh, you know what? I kind of like this spot. Let's see if there's any gravel on the ground. Gravel signifies where they're... Oh, boy. We got a lot of zombies. Hold on. We got to kill... Oh, my God. What happened to my frames? What happened to my frame rate? Hmm. I wonder if that has something to do with fraps. Could be fraps is getting full again. All right, whatever, let's kill these guys. Okay. I was gonna end the video, but I can't end the video when there's zombies to kill. There we go, level 12. Okay, take it easy here. This guy won't freaking go down. Die already. All right. All right, time to take you out. Man, it is rough on high spawn in these towns. But the cool thing is once you clear out the zombies, they won't bother. They won't come around again for a while. And I don't think they'll ever be around in these numbers again. I mean, these are like some high high number of zombies. Okay. So I think this is the spot where I want to build my base probably. Let's see if we can find some gravel. Gravel, if you find gravel, that means there's a uh, what about this? What is this? This is regular dirt, right? Why does it look like that? Is that gravel? I, I, I don't think it is. No, it's just regular dirt. Why does it look like that? Oh, here's the gravel. Okay, that's the gravel. This is where we're building our base. We won't build it right on top of the gravel. We'll build it like kind of around here. I think this is pretty good. The only problem is I don't want buildings to get in my way. Whatever. I'm going to end the video now, guys. I'll find a spot, and then uh, I'll come back next video, and we'll we'll have a place to start building. So that's going to be it for Episode 2. We'll see you next time for Episode 3. Till then, take it easy.